My name is Berit Reis Andersen. I am by profession a lawyer, but I am the chair of the Norwegian Nobel Committee, the committee that hands out uh, the Nobel Peace Prize. Anyone can be nominated, uh, but anyone may not nominate. There are rules on who has the right to nominate. Uh, a candidate. We are bound by the criteria in the will of Alfred Nobel and he points out three criteria for the Peace Prize. It is um, reduction of standing armies, it is um, uh, contributing to peace congresses, and fraternity between nations. This we have interpreted through 120 years to cover arms reduction, international cooperation um, and uh, organizations uh, contributing to peace and the fraternity criteria covers among others also human rights contributions. To peace. In several prizes we combine all the criteria and in some prizes it is only one of the criteria that we point out as a reason for the Peace Prize. People know, but it has to be a contribution as I mentioned and it has to be a contribution that is to the greatest benefit of mankind. So it's obvious you can't be uh, a child and fulfill these criteria. But our youngest Peace Prize laureate was Marlala Yousafzai, who at the time was only 17 years old, but a very worthy recipient of the prize. We um, consider first and foremost the contribution, but to consider the quality of a contribution, you also, in fact, have to consider the personality. Uh, it is, if it is a person, it's sort of interwoven the, the, the person and the contribution. The Norwegian Parliament, the Storting, um, elects the members of the Norwegian Nobel Committee uh, and it is the members of the committee themselves who elect the chairperson. So it's a combined effort of the Storti and my colleagues in the committee. My favourite thing in the role is the moment in a final meeting where we, after many months of intense work, draw the conclusion who is this year's Nobel Laureate. When we have voted on the decision and we do agree, it is like an angel walking through the room. To give them the happy news. We call them 10-15 minutes before we actually announce it at a press conference. And by our regulations it is not possible to revoke the Peace Prize. The Peace Prize is given uh, to a person or an organization for the efforts that this individual had achieved at the time of receiving the prize. We cannot be responsible for what a Nobel laureate does um, subsequent to a prize. It's of course always possible that a prize committee can make a mistake and that is our responsibility that we just have to face but we never revoke a prize. receive 
a Nobel Peace Prize. If you manage to give a contribution that is significant to humankind, and that is a contribution to uh, peace. So please go ahead and start your work. I will consider you. On October 8th, uh, we will have a press conference and announce this year's Peace Prize laureate.